Welcome for those of you new here. My name is Katie. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best and I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. And today I'm going to be trying out the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigment. I think that's how you say it illuminating pr primer and this is 01 luminous now I was looking over on the website before I got started I just went straight to the juice beauty website this is a lightweight primer it's formulated with rich coconut alkalines and infused with an age-defying serum to smooth the appearance of lines and blur imperfections and let's see it's sustainable packaging uh, this is this is not the sustainable packaging. This is just a sample size that I got whenever I placed a recent order from Ulta. Um, they had like the option to do this like try all these different primers. I love primers and I'm always on the hunt for an amazing one. So I was really, really excited to give this a try. I'm just taking a look at the website to see what other information. Um, this is great for all skin types. You, It's great as the base for all foundation, controls oil with witch hazel extract, it has antioxidant protection with vitamin C and E, and hyaluronic acid, that helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by really helping to hydrate the skin. Um, let's see, Let's. these are their how-tos and tips, all right? Apply after your skincare routine. It says you can use a foundation brush or your fingers to put it all over your face and apply the primer across the face working from the center out use a buffing motion in areas with larger with texture and larger pores and let's dig into this all right so of course it has a little protective seal on it i'm always appreciative of that oh man look at that illumination Woo! as i spill it everywhere all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take a little bit onto my hand i'm not gonna use a brush I like to use my hand to pr apply my primer. I like to use a brush for like everything else, but I like to use my my fingers. It doesn't really smell like anything. You can see that illumination. Now I wasn't sure, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this or not because I'm more of a matte primer person, but I thought I would give this a try and see how I like it. Now I am pairing it with my unique Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation. You cannot get this foundation anymore, um, but just like I use my Touch Glorious Face Primer whenever I'm trying a new foundation, I like to use my Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation whenever I'm trying a new primer because I know how this, this looks with my Touch Glorious Face Primer and achieving the foundation look that I want. So I'm really, really excited to give this a try and I'm going to be right back once I let this primer set for about five minutes. I really want it to absorb into the skin before I go in with my foundation. So I'll be back to let you know how the application with the rest of my face makeup went. Stay tuned. Well, I just got done applying my face products. I have not used my setting spray yet. I'm gonna do that next. But I will tell you, I really like the way that my foundation is wearing with this primer. So, so far, I am impressed, but stay tuned. The real test will be when I come back to you later on tonight to see how the primer and the foundation are wearing. So, so I'll be end back. of the day, and you can see I am pretty shiny. <laughs> Again, um, not necessarily the look I personally am going for. I have oily combination skin. So I just really think that even though it says it's for all skin types, I would think that it's designed more for somebody that has dry skin. I do feel like the foundation is kind of bunching in places, especially here on my nose. And I did just exfoliate yesterday. So that shouldn't really be, you know, a reason for it. Um, to do that. Sometimes if your foundation's gathering, you might need to exfoliate. But like I said, I just exfoliated yesterday. So um, I really think that it's it's the um, result of the primer. So again, not for me, um, but definitely give it a try. If you have a little bit more of dry skin, you may really like the results that you get from it. So there you go. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like these types of videos where I go in depth with a single product and I come back and let you know how it's wearing throughout the day, give me a thumbs up. 
Let me know that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that way anytime I post a new video, you are notified. Have a great day.